Studio is the Commissioner, Petroleum and Mineral Resources in Abuja State, Professor Obuna Jewel. Good morning, sir, and welcome to the program. Thank you for having me here today. All right, of course, Abians, I want to listen to you. Remember, this is a new administration, every led by Governor Alex Woti. Uh, the previous administration did their own, but this is entirely uh, a, a rundown activities for you in this ministry. So let us get to know your core mandate as a ministry under this present administration. Thank you very much, uh I'm glad that we have opportunity to discuss with us today and what we are doing, especially in the Ministry of Petroleum and Solid Minerals. Of course, many of us do not know that Arabia states are among the 10 oil producing states in the country, and also there are a lot of solid minerals. But before now, one start wondering how we really have a benefit of what is going on. So when we came in, we discovered that a lot of things were not in place, especially in terms of uh, what should be our benefits what we are supposed to do. So we started setting up the foundation. How many oil wells do we have? Because there was no data. We get into trying to know what is the quantity of oil we have in other states, how many oil wells, and what are we getting from them? We set up that foundation. We also had a platform where we review what is happening in the solid minerals. Of course, as we discussed, we discovered that other state is also blessed with oil, uh, solid minerals, but we are not doing getting much. So we have set up a platform to get the best from uh, oil and gas and solid minerals. Thank you. All right, so how many oil wells do we have in our state? We are supposed to have about 100 uh, oil wells, but about 62 are capped. They are not producing. Basically, it's about 40 that is producing. And so we, when we are studying why are we not producing the 62 wells, because that would be a huge uh, benefit to other states. So we are coming up with a record and recommendations of what we should do. A lot of things we can do with them. They could be marginal refineries, they could be a source of modular refineries, and marginal wells. So we'll come up with uh, that recommendation of what to do, and other states will be good for it. All right, so far, I know uh, previous administrations were in play, but so far, so good. Have you been able to arrive at the reasons that these about 60, uh, 60 of uh, oil wells that you said we are not uh, utilized or we are not exploited? Again, you know, the greatest power for change is knowledge. And unfortunately, I think that's to the credit of uh, uh, the executive governor, Dr. Alice uh, C. O. T. O. F. R. If you are not knowledgeable, you can do much. I'm a professor of petroleum, and uh, before I came, I have worked in the oil industry for 18 years and went to the university to teach petroleum engineering. So what happened before now, I would say that a lot of people who were there were not experts, so they had a limitation. So with my background knowledge, that's why we have been able to do what we are doing. And of course, uh, one of the reasons is if you know uh, most of the exploration in either state before now was done by Shell. And if a, sh a shell uh, explores and they discover that the quantity of oil there is not so much and does not make for commercial viability, they will cap it. Mm -hmm. and that's why after many years, the government came up and said, hey, if you cannot uh, develop this well, why not sell it to individuals, which are marginal wells? And that's what we are trying to come up with and say, if these wells uh, have issues, perhaps because of uh, producing what we call water or because uh, the quantity that producing is not much, we need to do something. And in the shortest time, we'll come up with uh, a portfolio of what to do. Right, a big discovery, sir, you've carried that. Your ministry has carried that, uh, rather. Uh, there are persons with a school of thought that Abia, given Abia, commercial city, uh, commercial state, uh, uh, with uh, durable lands and all of that. But given your discovery, people are saying that necessarily the Ministry of Petroleum does not really matter in Abia state. With the discovery, are you taking a different view? It does matter. The point is that if you don't ask for what belongs to you, you don't get it. I mean, the oil there at all was a waste. It's a natural endowment. And if you see recently, uh, His Excellency had uh, flagged uh, this uh, Abia State Industrial Innovation Park at Owaza, where we have the oil and gas, to come up with the biggest uh, industrial park in West Africa. The motivation is to take advantage of the oil in that place, because right now some of the gases are being fled. And these are uh, materials you can convert to what? Petrochemicals. So we want to take advantage, and that's the impetus of setting up uh, this Abia State Industrial Park where you have modular refineries, where you have petrochemicals, where you have fertilizer plants. So we want to take advantage of this uh, oil there and get these things done. Are well, you talking about the Owaza oil well? Uh, have you uh, kicked off activities at that place? Sure. If you what have, are the things? If you are following up on the 30th of September, we have acquired, uh, before now, we have acquired 1,933 hectares of land at Owaza. Actually, it's, uh, there are five communities. And the groundbreaking was done on the 30th of September. I think it was historic where you have uh, the players of the industry and investors come. 
the essence is to use that plant because you, that's the proximity where you have the oil to use it as uh, uh, to develop uh, these facilities. Right now, we are doing the enumeration uh, of the communities to so pay them compensation as to start uh, the distance. So we are in course. And uh, I'm sure, perhaps we are not following up the news, a lot of people are showing interest. There are people who have uh, indicated for one refinery every day in the office, I'm talking to people because they want to do business with us. And what the government wants to do is to provide a enabling environment in terms of uh, road infrastructure, in terms of, yeah, the things that will make for good business. And so do you have plans for security, uh, for this infrastructure over there in Owaza? Security, is sure. But the good news about it is that the people of Owaza are very happy because before now we went into engagement with them. They are going to have equity in the business. It's their business, our business. So they are happy, they are part of it. In fact, as we are doing the enumeration, for the past one month we have been in the field, uh, going with the villagers to know their boundaries, to know the plans, to know everything that will make for compensation. So again, security, the police is supporting, but we don't have issues because the people see the project as their project and they're happy because they have been neglected over the years. Okay, so they're happy, so we don't have issues with that. All right, I understand that the agency that uh, looks after the activities uh, of oil in the state, that's so paddock. Uh, is still uh, very much uh, in place in the state. But uh, what is your relationship with uh, ASOPADEC, given these projects, these numerous uh, projects that you've lined out for your ministry? Yes, ASOPADEC has the name implies that you, um, the, the local community association of all the communities that oil is being produced. Part of their drive and motivation, the PIA Act provides that the host community must be cared for in terms of road development, in terms of other infrastructures. So a super day, is part of that uh, uh, ministry uh, that for make sure mm -hmm. that the oil producing uh, communities have this benefit. Of course, uh, we are working together. That is to make sure we we'll play oversight from them. So we want to be sure what uh, the companies are supposed to do. Are they doing it? Recently, I had to write to those companies producing uh, working in that area to see that they have not made some of the obligations and we wrote them and some of them are coming because the host communities are supposed to have three percent of whatever uh, profit that comes from the people working there and this money is to take care of them because in the oil and gas uh, business there are three things that are very key uh, economic prosperity environmental protection and social equity you want to make green money money that does not uh, destroy people you want to make sure you have a future uh, sustainability you want to make sure that the young man is happy. He has the right for good air, for good uh, air and the water. So these are things we want to make sure that uh, while you are doing business there, you don't destroy the environment the people are happy with you. All right, uh, let us get down to Osisioma at this point. What is the present state of Osisioma depot? Yeah, it's a very pathetic story. Um, it's also a challenge. One, the Osisioma depot are supposed to get uh, products from the refinery in Portaco. If the refineries, you know, they have been down, especially the one for protocol for many years. So because they are not producing, they cannot get the products. Secondly, when they were producing, you know, you know to transfer these uh, products through pipelines. Uh, most of the time, when they pump these pipelines, this crew, uh, the products do not get to the depot because of vandalism. Mm. So, but uh, we are having a high-level engagement discussion with NNPC because it's uh, expected that uh, the refineries will come up on stream. They said this December. So that uh, this December, that was what they said. Okay. I'm not too sure right. because <laughs> they are doing turnaround maintenance, which uh, are taking so forever. So if those uh, the refineries come up, there is a uh, hope that we'll get through. We're also engaging the communities uh, to make sure that the pipelines are not vandalized. Because what happened in NPC complaint? If you pump, I mean, before it comes, it is taken away. Mm -hmm. So why do they waste that? So uh, hopefully, with the high-level discussion we are having with uh, an NPC and also engagement with the community to see uh, the actions, especially negative actions, as not good for our state and our people who will be able to have uh, products. Yeah, that's the same.